Hi! <laughs> the Grizzly Wanderers, after solving the refugee crisis in Till Trend Country by crushing and slaughtering every innocent refugee that they could find and siding wholeheartedly with the author local authorities trying to get rid of the refugees in any way. We are leaving this land and moving on through the border, but it is too arduous a trip. We must rest go into the camp let's have gravedigger see what he can craft before bedtime i don't need any of these items so just leave him alone he can just continue hammering on that maybe put in some extra nails on the on the table gravedigger he's going to analyze this monolith be sure that it is a nice monolith that gives me all the knowledge in the universe but it's okay the will cook us the most delicious dinner, never mind, we have no wheat to make bread, but that's fine, because I have a massive pile of stockpiled food. Colt Shaw is slowly selling all the goods that he needs to fence. He'll obtain gains, but we don't make bones of such things, it is just a living. Our slave fart taster is there figuring out the brewing vat. He will eventually get there. And our friends Megan and Nick Fitz, they're sharing the tent so that they can be further refreshed while Eric Dawson keeps watch. Let's sleep for the night and before we head over to the border to enter the next area. Let's uh, dine upon the finest food, get 20% extra strength in our next day uh, and uh, just a pile of sausages because one of my companions i forget whom <laughs> i forget who which one of these dastardly buffoons is the drunk card we always need to have alcohol in our meal there are no wages to pay just now and let us rest welcome to war tales the troubles and tribulations of a band of mercenaries as they make their way through these perilous lands let's go back to the overworld now that we are fully rested go back into the road currently there is no suspicion upon us it hasn't been always like this sometimes there are wares too tempting to pass out these traveling caravans sometimes they have things that i just want and i'm going to put them in my pocket slaughter every merchant and pay the consequences they have absolute trash right now and i don't have anything to sell at the current moment so let us simply leave them be your lives were forfeit on our way out let us slaughter this band of car caravan of Filthy refugees. We have nothing. We are only refugees fleeing the Ederanian war. Indeed. Let us go. I beg you. I deny you. You will all be slaughtered. They're level four? That is quite a lot. That is a lot of refugees to be slaughtering. But this is the mission that I have set for myself. No filthy refugees coming into Tiltrin. We sided whole holy percent, hundred percent with the authorities. So each and every one of these pathetic, garbage, lazy bones needs to be slaughtered. It's going to be a costly battle. Uh, usually it's quite trivial to slaughter these caravans. But it's okay, we have a hardy group of very, very cruel mercenaries that all they care about is the spoils of battle uh, that can come out of the, the pockets of these buffoons. Little Sebastian, please do not be in the middle of the fray. I would much rather have everybody. Uh, unfortunately, there's no deploying spot over on that side. Megan cannot be left stranded, though. Uh, let's have our tankiest fella, which is Gravedigger, is going to be over there. Megan, you can take this area right here because her spear is a big deterrent for the enemy. Uh, the deployment is pleases me. We can hover over the icons of the people that are coming up. We get to choose who goes next all the time, every single turn. The enemy, they have a set order of things, which gives you a tactical advantage that you always want to exploit. I'm always trying to see who can I do I need to kill first so they don't get the turn. You know what I'm saying? So 
the way we want to do it is slaughter this civilian right here and then she has a star which means that they are seasoned 30 percent extra strength and, and whatnot they're basically just hardier people to murder but it's okay they are no match for the likes of i all right so we got only one turn before before this person attacks but if you look at him if you take a close look at the kind of uh, damage and the things that he does he's gonna ass so i am not worried about him the person i'm worried about is the seasoned one which is coming up that way let's have grave digger go over here and engage them in battle with a regular ass attack there you go pow destroys their armor inflicts fragility which means that now they are going to take 30% more damage. And uh, by being engaged in this manner, now she is not free to move all over the place. She needs to fight back. They're, they are not free unless they can, you can disengage and they get a free attack of opportunity, which is also good for me. Let me give the extra attack that I am capable of doing. And then I'm going to have him enable protection, which means that the next attack will be very almost completely negated. And that's his turn. This person that is super far, he's uh, of no importance to me. And this idiot with his pitchfork. Oh no, here he comes to poke. Two damage. No. Anyway, this is just a bonus thing that I'm doing. Slaughtering the civilians as I come across them. Don't worry about this fight. They're all going to die. So I'll see you on the other side. can always rely on Megan to stab the newcomers into submission. Here comes little Sebastian to clobber his enemies to death. Oh yeah, great service, little Sebastian. You are a great team player. <laughs> choke, choke in my toxic fumes. Pathetic. Colt Shaw and his throwing daggers, they never disappoint. Look at him, three targets. Three people marked for death. These reinforcements have absolutely no chance whatsoever of winning. Let me come over here, throw an axe at this idiot. Uh, it w went all the way up in the stratosphere and then came down to murder his cranium. It's all under control. Don't worry even a bit. Megan, the wall prepares once more to skewer the come. Th those who come to disturb her peace. What are you gonna do with your pathetic chip pitchfork? What an absolute moron! You will be destroyed by Eric Dawson's giant axe to the head. Actually, it was not enough to murder you, but it's okay. Well, it's all delaying the inevitable. The, the poisoner is unstoppable. Another pile of poison idiots ready to be murdered. <laughs> Nostra F in Damas, the dead shot. And the leader of this company will put an end to these idiots. Get back into the poison, moron. Get wrecked, idiot. These pieces of filth have been more hardy than I anticipated. Let's be sure to patch up little Sebastian with some first aid so that he doesn't just die horrendously to this garbage people and it's okay the will finish this job just go over here do a very fancy spin eliminated my opponents are demoralized and want to flee do you want to let them go and win the battle no no they will all be slaughtered you can't have people t telling tales what a silly concept I did spend all my action points, which is the Valor points, to do the fancy moves in battle. Totally worth it though. I do have a temporary bonus Valor point that you generate depending on the certain actions that you can do. Either way, all that is left is these two pathetic civilians. Let's make short work of them with our incredible ability to murder with impunity. Let's have Megan do the final touch 
She'll just go right behind this idiot as he is engaged in battle and then just stab him to death in the back. Oh yeah, that's my style, baby. Okay, that took a little bit more effort, more health out of my people than I anticipated. But hey, look at the spoils of battle. 69 coins, a pile of iron ore, whole bunch of booze, some trinkets to sell, cloth to craft with, a garbage rancher's pitchfork, but that's 32 value. Give me that torch. I could grab the human remains, which is certain less than scrupulous bands may use for sustenance. We, are, we don't roll that way, though. If you look at the knowledge, I don't even have cannibalism unlocked. I do have unlocked quite a few things that make my life easier in this rough land. But not cannibalism. We have not stooped that low yet. All right. After battle, you want to go for your people. You could click on repair all, but that is wasteful. Because each of my repair raw materials, they will repair 10 points of armor. If you click on repair all, probably we're, go we're going to come across, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, come across somebody, eh, eight points, that is, that is reasonable. He definitely needs two, but definitely don't want to use one more to get him to max armor. Unfortunately, he got an injury in battle. He did get hit quite hard. He can no longer deal, deal critical hits. This is not a deal breaker. I would rather just get back to town. And uh, I, I do have a lot of medicine stockpiled. Let's just have him heal that up. It's fine. Usually I will just wait until he got back to town and heal these injuries. Uh, because it's way cheaper to do it that way. He also leveled up. Very nice. We'll do that at the end. Uh, let's continue going through everybody's armor. Oh, little Sebastian can no longer critical hit. Crimea River, it's all, all he does is clobber people in the head. Uh, I'm not going to spend a resource just healing three points of armor. That's why you want to micromanage that instead of clicking that repair all. I made that mistake when I started this game and I was like, man, uh, the repair costs are astronomical. But then I figured it out. Let's go to Eric Dawson. He has a level point to spend. He is now level four, level sentinel, uh, level four sentinel. So at this level, he doesn't get a talent point or any kind of nothing. All he gets is a little bit of a stat increase. It will randomly give you a few stats that you can increase. You want to get that willpower to 15. At 15 willpower, you basically get death's door. Uh, or rather, if you get killed it negates lethal damage once per battle it is probably the most op thing that you can get to for your people so you want everybody to get to 15 willpower all right now that all those refugees have been properly slaughtered let us go down the road to cross the frontier all that was just an appetizer what i wanted to do fine well let these refugees go otherwise i'm gonna spend a million years progress many discoveries has given you a knowledge point that is very nice because this is what makes your life easier in war tales knowledge points get acquired by all sorts of ways exploring everything you can craft things that you haven't crafted before you get more knowledge points uh that's basically it <laughs> discoveries and uh crafting new things that's how you get your knowledge so with only one point I'm not going to unlock cannibalism. I will not cross that line in RimWorld. I've had enough of that. But what you can do is unlock new recipes with your knowledge. Not really know what I'm after right now. I guess we could get a better workshop, a better tent, a better cooking pot. There's a whole bunch of things you could get. The anvil. Eh, yeah, probably we want to be able to craft better, better stuff. Reinforced buckler. Light. Hey, finally some armor for the horses. I've been wondering how to get these. I guess you crafted. Sure, we're going to enable me to be able to do it. Unfortunately, I don't have the iron ore. Or I should have it in camp, though. I should be able to craft this right now. Let's go to camp real quick. It's not When you click on it, it, you don't commit to it. It's just a nice screen where you do the crafting. You don't have to rest if you click on it. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe we need to go to... You can't just craft it. I bet you need to go to a, a, 
a blacksmith. Yeah, it's not a crafting recipe. It is a blacksmithing recipe for which you need a freaking anvil in a town. So never mind. Let's continue going to the Edoran border crossing. Uh, battles have become quite trivial in this land because when you start the game, you can choose to either have automat uh, automatic level matching where it gives you like, what was it, Oblivion? was one of the Elder scroll Elder Scrolls that would match your level all the time, always give you a, a fair uh, fight no matter what. And I hate that. I hate that kind of gameplay where it feels pointless to level up because the game is constantly leveling up with you. But the game gives you the option to level of the enemies are, are region locked. When, this region, it's hard to begin with, but you out-level it, you get much more powerful than them and then you go on to the next level the next region and probably you're going to get your ship pushed in because they are so much hardier anywhere we are arriving at the boarded crossing i have been given i have it in my inventory i think either in my inventory or it's in the quest log a way to go cross the border by the mayor of of town hall him or herself so let's see what these people want who is a merchant we can inspect them in case that we want to fight them, but no, we're just going to do some some trading. Mm, I see, I see. You have absolute garbage, but you will take my trash, and therefore I appreciate your existence. You don't really, I don't really don't have much to sell. Oh, there's the border pass. There it is. Uh, you can just sell it for money, huh? Maybe I guess you can fight your way through the border, or maybe you just don't get to progress. <laughs> if you're stupid enough to do that sell these pitchforks and I don't think I have anything else to sell but that is plenty I have uh, this amount of money is unprecedented I have been so broke for so long I am about ah let me check let me check how many hours I'm in I am 21 hours in this is my very first playthrough I will finish the video showing you the options for a new playthrough I chose a pile of companions that are basically scoundrels but there is a whole bunch of different uh, backgrounds that you can grab you can have Okay, so we got a border guard and a Fijesios. What do you say, Fijesios? Okay, you're just flavor. All right, let me click on the border guard. Yes, we're going straight to the battle. We're mercenaries. That's where we make our living, you idiot. Oh, you can just pay to get through the border. All right, that is, that is reasonable. It makes sense. But we have a border pass. We don't need to pay. We are the exalted champions of Tilgrin, where we slaughter every single damn refugee coming in. Should you regret your boldness, you can return to Tiltrin without paying. Oh, thank you. That is very generous of you. Idiot! Is there any... Whenever you go to a location, it's kind of a find the object kind of interaction, where to be able to find the interactables... Maybe there's a key. Yeah, there you go. You can highlight... I don't know if you can highlight also the chests. But I kind of enjoy looking for the interactables. It's kind of fun to... It's like a small hidden object kind of thing. Anyway, we leave. We cross the border. And we now go into the county, county of Arthes. More refugees going out, huh? Fine, we'll let them go. Otherwise, I'm going to spend the entire day here. Let's catch up to this merchant. See if they have something good. Uh, actually, yes, give me all your salt. I like to buy... All the salt. If you control right click, you buy it, buy it all. And then they have a few trinkets, a few crafting items. We don't really care about them. Uh, the coal is kind of nice, though. I'll put it in my inventory. Uh, we can go to the the camp and quickly open this up. And I like to put all the crafting materials in the communal box. Thankfully, crafting just grabs from the communal box. It doesn't force you to have it on you to be able to craft things. I appreciate that a lot that uh, little bit of ease of use very very nice all right looking good let's go back to the land and carry on with our travels see what there is uh, in the county of arthes sarah's sheepford we enter this land let's oh what is that wonder what that icon is supposed to be mm, let's see what sarah's sheepford has to offer maybe there is some kind of oh it is taken over by wolves? The wolves are trying to enter the building. Defend this sheep fort. The sheep must not be molested. That is 
uh, Nostrafin Dama's job. He's uh, quite fun of the, 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 those sheep. The, let me tell you, he has some devious ways of dealing with with the mutton. It is quite disturbing. Apollo wolves, they're no match for me. They're level fours, though. They're, they're not trivial. These pile of wolves, they're not trivial at all. So we're going to respect them. We're going to clump up, as I often do. This is like my general strategy. Oh, there's more wolves behind me. Just one. Well, you're shit out of luck, little wolf. You are completely lost. There's nothing you can do. And the first wolves are... Oh, you are actually going second. So we're going to absolutely surround you. Let's have Eric Dawson go right over there. Unfortunately, I used all my Valor points. You regenerate them when you rest. Not all of them. Only so many uh, that you have set up. Depending on what your setup is, you're going to regenerate more or less. How many people are using the tent? How many... Um, how, there's a, a number of ways to generate points. I forget exactly how many... Uh, what other ways you can have it, but... Basically, at the time that you rest, you're going to have a whole, a whole bunch of options to regenerate. Let's have... Let's see, what's the next wolves coming in? Uh, we have lots of time to kill this one. So, let's have... The... Is our poisoner is very AOE focused. I want somebody that will just shoot, that will sh just kill it with one hit and then be ready to fight. There you go. Wolf down and then go back. Join the line. All right, all right. We have lots of time to kill that. I think Nostra F and Damas. Now is the time to get a nice shot on this wolf. Pachow! Unfortunately, I don't have any Valor points, so I cannot do the second shot. And, you know, these wolves are all going to get absolutely slaughtered. There is no question about it. Almost feel bad. Damn. Straight to the eye socket. A certain intrepid captain. Nostraf in damage the nimble elbow. He can go over to the people and use the galvanized troops. We get... A pile of free Valor points. That's why I am not super heartbroken when I use up my Valor points because I, I always have trusty Nostraf in Damas. There's a little a repairs 20% of maximum armor? Do it. At the very least, we save ourselves those three points of armor. Wow. I get myself into a position there. These wolves are absolutely annihilated. Burst! Alright, this sheep fort has been properly defended. Give me all the leather, all the wolf meat. That's a lot of fangs. The, the fangs are currency for like a pile of savages that teaches you things. And I don't think there was any damage dealt to anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the did get bitten quite savagely by the wolf. So let's get a little bit of repairs there. Alright, perfect. Beautiful battle. Uh, no, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, the carcass. This is actually uh, useful just f as a little bit of food. The sheep ford has been defended. Uh, it is completely, completely uninhabited. No wonder it wasn't defended. What the hell is going on here? Yes, give me all this wheat. All for me. Now I can make delicious bread out of the campsite. Look, it's a chest to lockpick. Let's have our resident thief. By the way, everybody gets a profession you can swap back and forth uh, at no cost other than the progress you lose it you don't lose your current level you lose the progress on the current level if, if that makes any sense so you can uh, toggle back and forth people's um a profession to be able to do certain things i think yeah he's also an angler he is a quite the good fisher and that's about it who else is in there? Cold Shaw. I think he's just dedicated thief. He has no other vocation whatsoever. I think I have one that is both a miner and a blacksmith, I want to say. Novice. Anyway, there's professions in the game. You assign them to them. Cold Shaw is my thief. Let's do the most overused thievery minigame in the universe. But it's still, you know, it holds up. I still like it. I enjoy doing it. 
We open the digest and we get a bunch of cloth, 10 crowns, and a trinket to sell. It, that's just, you know, it's just a, a piece of garbage. Let's talk to the sheep. Maybe they have something interesting to say. The sheep is shaking quite a bit. You're not entirely sure it's edible. Let's find out. Actually, you get some mutton. But wonder if, because I am a savvy gamer, because I am a savvy gamer, I'm going to leave them alive. Maybe we find the owner and they'll be extremely happy that we saved two of their sheep. So let's continue traveling. See what else we can encounter in this land. Let's just stick to the roads. I do deviate now and then to get myself resources that we see on the road. We are now in fatigue. If you let this meter go all the way to the top, somebody will die. <laughs> that is how serious fatigue is. So, you know, overexertion is a real problem. Let's go camp into the forest. I like to go into the forest. It's, it's something that I have that I picked up from being a, a filthy thief. It makes defending from the authorities way easier in the sense that they have a much lower chance of finding you. So anyway, we do get to cook some bread. Oh yeah, and some wolf sausage as well. Give me six sausages and give me six bread. All this salt that we bought, all this wheat that we found on the floor. Excellent stuff. It's getting to a point where my food, the food pile that I am carrying is... Uh, more than I need for sustenance. If you have a wood cutter, you can assign it here to get a little bit of resin. But resin is super low value, so I really don't care. Uh, you can go to the campsite, get plus one happiness. Happiness, if your people are happy, you get nice bonuses. This is my influence currency that you can spend in certain events. Some merchants, some encounters, will you will want to have some influence currency to spend anyway let's eat again which meal shall we eat a reduce aggression range for animals we don't really care about that ah, let's get it because i might be traversing some forest or whatever it's it's like i'm just gonna use it i'm just gonna use it and we're going to use these disgusting seven carcasses and i do like to use the sausages i am spending a little too much eh, let's just put a couple apples in there one apple that'll do that'll do 30 and we want to pay our people because happiness is important gives you much better fighting chances see if we can make it to the town see what this region is about the troop is well rested all kinds of nice bonuses because i treat my people right these rascals have been through thick and thin together eric dawson has some kind of concern let's see what we have to say for each battle a new injury i'm not built for this life I should have listened to my mother and become a farmer. You pussy! Just get on your post. Cry. Curl up into a ball and cry. Not very manly of you. Sulk. So you get a trait. And that is sulky. After arrest, the valor points earned by this troop are reduced by two. Overanalyze. Overanalyze your fears and worries. It requires one valor point. You lose three of them, though. Uh, overall... Probably losing the happiness is the least important because uh, I care. I run a very good and efficient ship. Come on, man. We're not going to let him sulk. Let, sulk, let's just overanalyze. Like I established, we like Valor points, but they're not super necessary because we have Nostra F in Dama's ability to generate them. Gravedigger, you, you're not who I'm talking about. That was Cold Shot. No, that was... Who the hell was Eric Dawson? He's just carnivorous, all right? Uh, everybody has their own traits. They either, they come with them and they develop them. And they all also have a friendship system. Right now, everybody just is on a like and tolerate that this is like the mildest relationship they have. Later on, they can have a much deeper connection or a much more heartfelt rivalry. Depends on how you manage them. So far, those little events of, you know, the... Oh, ooh, a pile of bandits, you say. I don't want to deal with bandits in this region. I want to get to the damn town, present my credentials, and see if we can get some extra missions in this place. Start fixing out the place. I'm not going to roam the countryside 
destroying bandits without getting gold hard coin? Let's go to Korsha. Oh yeah, we have arrived at the town. Let's see if we can build that. I really want the armor for my pony. So let's see if we can forge it. I really want it. A torch. Like pony plate. Yeah, see all the all the resources I've got? Forge it, baby. Yes. We will forge with incredible prowess. If you click as it shines, it crafts a better piece of armor. I did not click very well, so... You know, it was not great. It's not great. You can also make some alterations to whatever you're carrying. What, what kind of thing are you going to do with this? Basically, you spend a few resources to give it a few better a few better uh, stats. Sure, why not? Yeah, do it. Oh, I also have to click, huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Great job there. Great job. We get another slot and uh better stats let's have little sebastian equipped with the pony saddle wow look at that just boards huh <laughs> better than nothing better than nothing all right we have done the forging solacea well you have to sell just a bunch of coal and raw materials raw materials we still have 15. let's repair everything in the shop makes everything easier for me and uh, everything is maxed out now. Maybe there's something, something else to interact with. Absolutely nothing. Okay, we're going to exit. Uh, we can go to the church. We go to the inn. Let's check out the inn where we can talk to the informant, which gives you higher level missions. The emissary is where you get your regular Aren't old you mercenary for? missions. Our role as emissaries indeed, is indeed. Let's review. Them. I actually would like to grab me all of the missions i don't want a hard mission to start with though i have no measure of how bad this region is so gotta make sure that you know we start out easy let's grab ourselves mm, this one is northwest this one is north let's go north on both of these the last expedition expedition has given no news for days alazar's ambassador is promising a large sum of crowns to whoever will find them it's basically just going and walking, in theory. So I'm going to accept... Oh, what's this about? Oh, you can negotiate if you spend your influence. That you need it to get a better price for the contract in exchange for influence. I like that a lot. Oh, yeah. This is the first time I see this bit. I've been getting a ton of influence and no, not uh, spending it anywhere. So, yes, I want... I want to negotiate a better contract, and I have a ton of it, so sure. Click. Negotiation successful! We accept the contract. Yes, yes, we will do that. And we will also locate this silly, silly tomb. I mean, if they increased pile of money, let's give ourselves an 80% chance. Perfect! This pleases me. And then we'll also do this one, which is also north. Let's accept that one as well. An 80% seems reasonable for a pile of uh, money. What's this about? Why, why is it giving me twice? I just negotiate. Sure, let's do it again. I have so much of it. You can just keep adjusting it. Oh, because it, I bet because it's hard, you can get an even higher price. Mm. Sure. Oh, that's too bad. Counter over 312. Okay. <laughs> well, never mind. That was decent. Uh, all right. It basically sends you to go on search. And it may be easy, maybe a, a royal pain in the ass. We do have another slot, but let's just leave it open because the informant may have something even better. And then you can also hire more people. I'm very happy with the group of people that we got. You can hire people. And then rename them and do whatever you want with them. I could use an extra archer by now. Only F in Damas is the archer. And it really shows. Everybody's just trying to pummel the, each other. It's uh, It would be nice to have Danoon. And also we'll, she will also cover another... Cover another... Job. So why not? I do have the money. Oh, I'm inspecting. I need to actually click on her. There you go. Well. 
She's very, very she? bored. You can recruit her for influence and money. Sure, you are now part of the Grizzly Wanderers. We have a troop of 10 companions. I really should have looked at Elo Casta before, oh, <laughs> before uh, making a decision, but it's fine. We have plenty of warriors. We have plenty of brutes. I just wanted an extra archer. archer. Here you can, you know, rest at the inn for money. But I am almost full, so it will be a total waste. Uh, they also have recipes that I will, I do want to get this. I have quite a lot of money. Yes. A decent pile of money. I don't know where I wasted 400. I had a lot more money on this. I don't know when did that happened. This dish is, oh yeah, I think buying all the salt, all the coal, all the coal and all that stuff. Um, not going to buy any food or nothing. I have so much freaking food. This recipes do, though. Damage against animals. Moving increased by one. That is nice. Creature comforts. It requires quite a lot of food. And then crafting a loot. Hell yeah, I want that. All right. You can have a bard. One of the professions is a bard. Uh, let's just learn all of these, which is just two. Use her merchant abilities. I think I have a few things to sell. Maybe not. The no, I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. All right, that's the inn for you. There's also the informant. I'm not going to do anything with her just yet. Uh, we could buy things for influence. Gives you, you like the missions that are part of this region. I don't know what the scenario is in this region yet. Let's just exit. Continue doing all the, all the town stuff. Let's meet with. Whoever's in charge, which I assume it will be in the church. We don't need to go to the market. The church. Maybe the priestess of the light, Lucini. Lucinesi? Lucinesi. Lucinesi? Priest of the light, Sephar. Priest of the light, Septetus. Okay, is that is that all you got for me? And then there's also Cassandra. This church is dedicated to saints. Jeru and all the other saints. You're just talking. All right. I want to talk to the person in charge, please. My old day. I became a priest only in another life. I don't give a crap about what you're doing in this church. I bet it's going to be Cassandra. Let's inspect this book. The saga of Saint Jeru. Jeru's companions were overcome with fear when the beast appeared before them. They did not even attempt to fight it, for all knew that no worldly weapon could possibly defeat such a fearsome creature. Yes, I will read all this thing. It's... I guess it's just a matter of reading a, a story there. Uh, just a little uh, bit of lore there. I'm okay with that. Okay, this is people to talk to. You are in charge, aren't you? None of you are in charge. What is going on in this church? I am confused. It probably is that this is just a town. It is not the town. This is not where I'm going to find out what the hell is going on in this region. But anyway, I just wanted to have Clema. What, you, what is your problem? Okay. I saw him. I swear. Three days ago, I was collecting fire. A ghost? When the hunter's ghost. I will hunt down this ghost and murder him a second time because he's probably already dead. That's the experience in War Tales. I wanted to give you a slice of life. Let's have Danoon be renamed as one of our channel members. As everybody gets named. After a channel member, you are now Wena Kattenberg. Uh, Wena Katten. That's as, as far as you will allow me to rename. There you go. Oh, you can level her up real nice. Mm, every time the unit ends their turn next to an enemy and is not engaged in combat, you get one point of valor. Every time this unit kills an enemy, that's. That's the one I always choose. It seems like the absolute best. Every time this unit ends their turn next to an ally and it's not engaged in combat. Actually, this is the most reliable, right? I just need to remember to do it. Then you can get either Hunter with a recoil shot, which Nostra Demos has. Beastmaster, you can tell all allied ana animals to attack. And... Infantryman target a specific area performs an attack of opportunity against the three first enemies crossing the area. That's badass. That's great. There you go. I don't think Nostra Effing Dam has got this option. I would have chosen it. And uh, 
she already has willpower 15 somehow. Let's give her more movement. And more critical chance. Dex would be more damage. But a plus two on movement, the, the double is completely random. Do you just get it or not get it? <sighs> yeah, we'll get the extra movement. The, the extra movement is super nice. And um, plus two to critical hit is fantastic. But it would be nice to get more dexterity, but it's fine. Equipment often gives you enough stats to uh, make up for that kind of thing. Whereas movement and critical hit, they're harder to come by. So that's it. That's, uh, that is the slice of life in my war band of ruthless mercenaries. I'm going to war out what the hell I'm supposed to do in this country. Something that I did not touch upon. There is a one more path of progression, and that is over here. The paths. As you do things in the, in the overworld, you fill up these tallies. And upon reaching milestones, you get points. Once you get enough points, you can spend it in making your people a little bit better. And some of them are pretty game changers. That This is why I can negotiate better contracts, because I spend one of those points. This one allows 20% faster moving on roads, which makes a giant difference. It's, uh, it's quite a lot of... Oh, hey, yeah, give me that point. Give me that point. Hmm... Oh, this is related to me being a bandit. <laughs> it gives you a special point because of our the the background. Okay, unfortunately, I, I did not have enough to fill up a bar and get a new ability, but we'll get there eventually. Before I end, let me save because this is my first war band. I'm, I made it as free saving, uh, Cortia or whatever. Uh, I want to go to the menu and show you what it's like to start a new game. That way you can see what the hell this is about. First, it gives you a number of backgrounds. I chose bandits looking to escape the guard, which gives you a few stolen items, and uh, it will determine the kind of people you get. You start with four. The kind of people you get, your starting items. We are men escorting merchants with uh, who lost their employer this is like the most bog standard start we are just a band of mercenaries that escort people for money then you give them a little bit of background we are very used to long walks and then you choose a downside if they had a flaw it would be that they are extremely extremely greedy let's go so here's where you choose adaptive exploration, which I absolutely despise. I hate this mechanic everywhere in every game. Makes every role-playing game into a slog and a grind, and it just it just kind of unveils how the game works, and it just destroys immersion, in my opinion. Region lock exploration is where it's at. And I will give myself extreme survival difficulty with Iron Man. Iron Man, this is just a recipe for dying. But I am ready to do it. And the save name is the Doomed Buffoons. There you go. The Doom, Doom Buffoons. Eurigeka, Frilius, Franik, and Sibral. You can, you know, inspect them. You can rename them. Dumbass. And, and such and, and such, you get, you get to change appearance and all kinds of stuff. You know, very, very nice. I was hooked immediately as soon as I was like, oh, I can create the band of misfits and be a total piece of garbage to everywhere I go. The mercenary's life is never easy. So you just start out. It's the exact same map. That's something I wanted to find out. Is it the exact same map? And it really does look... Like it's exactly the same. So whenever you start, you just, what changes is the people and your starting, uh, your starting conditions and your choices that you go forward. There's not a ton of choices. It's mostly binary on whether you want to be a criminal or not. You can either decide to with one faction or the other, and then you can be a criminal or not be a criminal. And that's about as far as I've gotten in decisions. 
Could be more than that going forward, but that's what I have seen. Uh, the map looks exactly the same. I guess you get attacked immediately by hoodlums. And this will be just starting another adventure, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to stick with the, the miserly losers that, uh, that I have been playing with. And we'll see where they go. For the time being, I'm going to go take a dump.